before we get into the video, people, I am giving away 11,500 Apex coins every single month. To be in with a chance of winning them, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and have that bell notification button ticked. Drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. More details are in the video description. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel, and I appreciate you being here. Today, I've been doing another Apex Legends video, and today, guys, I want to talk about a recent crafting material or crafting metal exploit ticks coming and new Alstar promotional images guys okay so crafting metals somewhat are pretty rare to get and probably for good reason because the crafting metals are used to literally build any piece of loot in the game from a weapon skin to a finisher to a legend skin just about Everything can be built with crafting metals, besides one or two things which you get from the battle pass, like the Havoc evolving skin. But basically everything else you can craft. And these crafting metals can only be obtained from Apex Packs. And as we know people, these Apex Packs are few and far between unless you purchase them. And not everybody's got money to throw at their games because obviously the battle pass has just come out and no doubt you've brought that. Which is a little underwhelming, I won't lie to you guys and I'll probably bring you a video of me reviewing the battle pass. But yeah, many of us have brought that. So we'd expect a few more sources uh, where we can actually get these crafting metals to buy and create the loot we want. But there is absolutely nothing. Just Apex packs across the Battle Pass, which do not guarantee a single thing besides probably rarities. So these crafting metals are definitely few and far between. So what if I told you guys there's an exploit working right now in game which allows you to change the loot you earn from the Battle Pass, i.e. change the Apex packs to crafting metals. So instead of earning Apex packs, you will earn crafting metals straight up. Now I will say people, I do not recommend this, this is an exploit and well you could be banned for it, I ain't really sure on this one, but I wouldn't take the risk and I'd tell you guys the exact same thing. But hey, let's talk about it anyway. So what you have to do is basically change your location settings to Belgium, where I believe it's illegal to purchase loot box in games, so I was told. So changing your location settings to Belgium will change the Apex packs within your battle pass to crafting metals, even if you've already brought the battle pass. It does not matter. I also know that if you change your location settings to Belgium, which isn't server settings people, it won't affect what region of the game you play in as you can pick separately what servers you want to play in. So I live in the UK and I could play in the Northern America servers if I wanted to. And to pick the server you want to play in, just sit at your title menu for about a minute and you should get a new menu pop up on the bottom left hand side of your screen, which allows you to pick your server if you didn't know about that. And changing your location settings can easily be done on Xbox and PC and I believe people are finding ways to do it on the PS4 too. Now, like I said, I won't show you guys right here how to do it, but I will link you where you can get a full tutorial of this if you want to dive deeper into it. But remember, guys, use it at your own risk. It's a risk I would not take and would not recommend. But hey, it changes those Apex packs to crafting materials or crafting metals, which is a bonus in my opinion, because I get rubbish from Apex packs and I would prefer crafting metals. That way I can purchase what I want or build what I want, that's where I'd like it to be. Okay people, so let's move on. And you guys probably have seen me cover ticks in the past. These ticks are basically grenades which were part of the Titanfall games, which if you threw, they'd explode and spawn mini spider drones, which would chase targets and explode. Well, these were data mined in Apex Legends a while back, under the new name of frag drones, but still keeping that tag of tick. Well, after the battle pass dropped yesterday and the update which we all installed, obviously new files have been added into the game. And it seems as though a little more information on these shrug drones too. Now, this data of mine, which was posted first by Shrugdor, whose Twitter can be found linked in the video description, we see on the screen now, we see that Respawn have already started balancing these ticks. The top of the data mine shows what they were in terms of damage output. The bottom half shows what they are now in terms of damage output. And we actually see they've been nerfed. So it seems as though Respawn have already been playtesting these frag drones and have decided they were a little too powerful. As the damage output, as you can see, 
the difference is crazy. But yeah guys, the Frag Drone, it seems as though Respawn are still working on, so I wonder how long it will be before we see these in game. Next up people, I want to talk about more promotional images for the L Star. Now we know this is a weapon coming, we just do not know when. It's been teased numerous times in game, via data mines, leaked images and so much more. It's coming people, it just needs to hurry up now. It isn't even a question anymore. But yeah, more images of the Alstar you can see on screen now taken directly from Apex Legends game files. And lastly guys, I want to cover something which could be nothing, but is a little interesting. Now this was pointed out to me by my pal, Mind Life Crisis, who also covers daily Apex Legends leaks and so forth. If you do want to check him out, you'll find him linked to in the video description. He actually sent me information about something very mysterious in the latest trailer for Apex Legends, which talks about the Battle Pass. Now we see a Bangalore on a roof with acoustic and we see a Pathfinder slinging in. Now, if we slow this footage right, right down, we see whatever that weapon Bangalore is holding seems to give off a weird flaming effect, almost like a flame thrower. But it's literally milliseconds, and unless you slow it right down and zoom in, you will miss it. Now, to me, this does not look like the standard muzzle flash we see in game on any weapon we have at the moment. And we also know flamethrowers and rocket launchers have been leaked or data mined, so they are in the game files. And the flame in front of this weapon, as it seems she's firing, looks absolutely ridiculous. And like I said, it doesn't really resemble any muzzle flash I can think of in game. So what is this she's holding? Is this indeed a new flamethrower? I do not know. But we will see people, we will see. Definitely interesting to talk about anyway. Let me know your opinion on this down below in that comment section. Am I jumping to conclusions here? Is it something we already know of? Let me know. But on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really does help out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Apex Legends videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.